some type of inside job. Leave another tip on top of the 20%. They had a lot of report in the same with the camera and that was without the Looks us over and then yells at us and is like, you're on the wrong side, idiot. Coming into the hotel and I just saw a mouse running across. I always keep the camera rolling. <laughs> Boy got the full body do rag out. Drop the roof and let you smoke clear. I got diamonds doing since he slides in both ears. Dice rolling on the Las Vegas trip tonight. Slip that on and we might miss the fight. We made it! We are in. Washington DC as you guys can see by the title of the video. Welcome to the vlog. I'm super excited This is my first time here. I'm here with my mom. We are getting ready to head out y'all. We literally just got here. It's 10 53 so very early start. We're actually gonna go to get something to eat like a little snack light late breakfast early lunch and go to the White House. And then we'll be going to dinner tonight and on a night tour. So it's gonna be an exciting day. We just got to our room, super cute, very small, um, but very cute. We just wiped down everything really quick. And yeah, we're about to just kind of freshen up and get ready to go. That so cute, adorable. right? Y'all, I got the little um, travel perfume thing that Aaliyah recommended. So cute. I brought um, two of them. At first I couldn't figure out how to work it, but it's super easy. They're like the little Scentbird um, little mini perfume thing. So it's the clear tube in the inside that you can refill. Love this. I'll put it in my Amazon store for y'all. It's not bad. <laughs> we're trying to get an understanding apparently this is the closest that you can get to the white house so here it is i'm gonna zoom in for y'all hey y'all so we are back at the room it's it is 3 24 feels like it's 9 p.m like we have been on go all day i've literally been up since like 2 20 this morning our flight was for six so we have we're very tired okay we've been doing a lot but it's been fun um we let's see when we got here y'all saw we went to lunch so initially we were supposed to just go to um it's called le cafe um at cafe park i believe for um for like a little snack we were supposed to just get a little pastry and then keep going but we weren't really into it i think maybe my mom could have just done a pastry but i needed like actual food so they actually had a restaurant inside of their hotel so we were able we wanted to sit outside but it was already full so we ended up having lunch upstairs but it was so nice you guys saw such a nice view um we could look out the window and everything so we had that french onion soup and we shared a lobster roll very good um the soup was really good it was my first time having french onion soup i really enjoyed it my mom said it was good but it's not the best one that she's had and the lobster roll was good but if you guys saw my birthday vlog when we went to the four seasons the one at the four seasons was like so much better but i mean this one wasn't nasty it just wasn't it wasn't that one you know so after that we went we went to the we went to the white house now I thought we were going to be able to get like much closer up than we really were like I don't know I don't know what exactly I was expecting but it definitely was not giving that um we were very far away I mean I showed you guys we basically the first little piece y'all saw I think was maybe like the south side and then we ended up finding another path and walking around to another angle of it but I don't think my mom said there's like multiple parts of the White House so I feel like we got like a peak but like not not quite it and there it was funny because you can see the guards like with their big um guns just patrolling the area and like the huge gates um so yeah we took a little picture but it wasn't really like too much like I don't know 
I don't know what I was expecting, girl, but it wasn't giving that. So um, tonight we're going to dinner. Our reservation, I think, is for, I don't know. We're leaving here, I believe, at 445. So we're going to go have some dinner. We're not really hungry, um, but, you know, we'll get something while we're there. And then we have to be back at the hotel, I believe, 6 45 maybe um for our tour we're going on a night tour so that should be really nice um it's gonna be like all the monuments and stuff but we're gonna be inside the bus so i know there are like buses that's like the hop on hop off type of thing where you can like sit at the top and um you know like see the view or whatever but we're gonna be inside the bus which is good because at nine o'clock it's supposed to start raining um it's supposed to rain a little bit overnight and then get cold so like it is very much hot here right now it is like 70 degrees um the outfit that i brought for tonight i'm not even gonna end up wearing because i feel like i would be sweating so i'm gonna save it it's mostly a black outfit with a pop of lime green it was supposed to be cute for nighttime but it's gonna end up being a daytime outfit i mean the outfit is definitely a look so we want to serve it but you know i don't want to be sweating so i'll probably wear that later this week i'm really really happy that i brought this jumpsuit i have just a plain black jumpsuit with just a silver zipper down the front from um fashion nova that i've been having and i was like i'm gonna just throw this in my suitcase and i'm so happy i did because i'm wearing it tonight um and i'm just gonna wear my little um my black boots that i got from zara i love love these boots like and they fit me perfectly if you guys know i always talk about how big my feet are and sometimes the 40 to me is short but the 40 in these boots fits perfectly so really happy about that um ooh, i'm a little warm we turned the air on but i'm kind of hot so yeah basically i just got out the shower and stuff i was literally just like lotioning up um my body and everything and then i'm gonna do a little light beat i had planned to do a little bit more and like lashes and stuff like that but I really just don't feel like it so I'm gonna do a little quick light beat probably no lashes just some little mascara and some gloss and keep it pushing so yeah that's what's going on we're getting ready so I'm about to continue to get ready and I'm gonna talk to y'all in a little bit am we are up and ready getting ready to go to brunch so let me set the day for y'all we well let me talk about yesterday because i don't really know so we are getting ready to go well no i said i was gonna talk about yesterday so because i don't know what kind of footage i got so y'all saw we went to dinner we went to georgia browns it was 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 highly recommend like very good i believe it's black owned as well so we love that um music was a vibe drinks were a vibe food was good so definitely recommend you go there like it was it was really nice so we did that and then we went to we went on our night tour um it was at night so i'm gonna include some clips of course but i don't know you know like how much i'm gonna do we did have a guide who was fantastic like we went on usa guided tours the guide was amazing very charismatic knew a lot just just rattling off it's giving gemini okay because when i tell you the amount of facts that he could tell you about everything we went to the white house we went to lincoln memorial we went to we went to everything not everything but like a lot of the monuments and stuff we went to go see those and then that was it it was a really late night um i think i ended up getting in the bed like close to 12 30. <laughs> so we had a very very full day and we are getting ready like i said to go to brunch we're going to park 14th um 
if you are you know if you've been on tiktok then you probably know about park 14th um i feel like it's very um I don't even want to say up and coming because I don't even know if it's new, but I feel like it's been all over TikTok. It's like a place to go. So we're going to go there for brunch. Excited about that. And then after that, we're going to the um, the African-American Museum. So that should be really nice as well. And then we're going out tonight as well. So we have a lot of things going on today. This is a like a jam packed trip. If you have never been to D.C. and you are looking for like what's the best things to do like touristy because you know a lot of times i feel like people travel but like they don't really be doing anything in the city like they literally just be going and just like partying and that's like not even our vibe so if you're looking for places to really go like touristy things to do restaurants to eat at you definitely want to want to watch this full vlog so like i said getting ready doing my makeup once i'm done my makeup i have a, um my outfit today i feel like it's giving pretty cute so i'll show y'all once i get dressed and yeah i'm checking with y'all in a little bit okay you guys we are practically here 11 58 so we made it on time the wind is blowing so much i feel like my hair just is looking crazy would you like to say hello Welcome to DC. <laughs> right. No, we're really excited um, to go to Park 14th. So, turns out Park 14th is on 14th. We walked, how long? Maybe like 15 minutes. About a 15 minute walk from our hotel. We're staying at the Marriott Marquis. I don't know if I told y'all that. So, it's nice. It, this is downtown. Considered downtown. Yeah. This is considered downtown. So, this is a good, um, a good location. So, we're here and we're starving. So, let's eat. I'm outside in a AMG. Right outside. Baby girl, you know me Still with the dolls that I grew beside All the niggas proud me I had it guy Gotta watch the time cause it's flying right Hey y'all, so we're back in the room for a little minute It's 2.13 Our um, tour Well not our tour But our um, like reservation for the um, African American Museum Is for 3 o'clock so we're going to be heading there in just a moment. But I, these shoes are too big. And I'm so mad about it because I felt like... Y'all know I freaking love these. Y'all with me when I got them from DSW. Um, I wear a 10, right? But I felt like the 10 was a little short. So I got an 11. But really, I think the 11 is too big. I feel like I should have just got the 10. And they probably would have like stretched out as I wore them. But I just... I, it's such a struggle for me with the shoes because like sometimes the 10 is just like too exact but I feel like this 11 is too big so I went to CVS and I got these um inserts so I'm hoping that this helps I'm trying to see if I should put the whole thing in or like just cut a piece and have it for my heel so let me see oh so much better oh my gosh yes so much better and then I feel like I have um like a narrow heel so sometimes they like slide off the back but I feel like this works so much better so we're gonna do that brunch was good the um it's definitely a vibe in there like it's oh what it's definitely a vibe in there it's very um it's pretty like aesthetically so definitely good photo ops and stuff the music was good the food was good so the way it works is you basically so she told us that it used to be a buffet before covid but since covid they stopped they stopped doing the buffet but they bring you basically like a sample plate so you get salmon macaroni and cheese jerk wings um hash browns um, French toast. What else was on that plate? Is that it? I feel like it was more. It's like the wings, the little dipping sauce, macaroni and cheese. Oh, scrambled eggs, the salmon, French toast. They also have um, collard greens, grits, salad, fruit. And you can ask for those like extra. And then they give you, um, it's bottomless mimosas. So they bring... Oh, what the hell? Hold on, y'all. So they bring you a carafe um, to your table. One carafe, like, per two people. So you can only basically get, like, one flavor at a time. So we had the peach. That was really good. Oh, I cut this one mad weird. 
We had the peach. That was very good. But they also have like lots of other flavors and things, but it's bottomless. So if you finish that first carafe, you can get another carafe of a different flavor. So that was really nice. But we only had the peach because um, like I said, it was just two of us and we didn't even finish our first carafe because we got we got things to do today. So we were not trying to um, have too much. But yeah, it was cute in there. And so the way it works, you pay before you go. So it was $60, I believe, um, for this. And you had to pay ahead of time. And it's a two hour limit, um, time limit for the table. So basically after two hours, you basically you can eat and drink all you want for those two hours and then you gotta go. So yeah, that was it. It was really nice, food was really good. Um, yeah, so it's fine, definitely recommend it. But we are, like I said, getting ready to go to the museum. I think it's um, it's cold today. So I told y'all yesterday it was hot, but the cold weather was on the way. So y'all can see I have a fur on today and everything. Well, yeah, I didn't show y'all the full outfit, but I know y'all saw like the top of me. Um, I have on a fur. So yeah, I'm excited to go to the museum. And then we're going to a rooftop lounge tonight. So I'm just really in here trying to fix my shoe. And then we're going to be headed out. But since I was in here, I was like, let me just let me just chat with y'all for a little bit. And also, how cute are these nails? Like every time I go to um, a CVS, I look at the nails. Oh, these are so cute for the holidays. Love. And this is the other pair. So pretty. getting ready to go to the VU. I don't know if it's VU or VU. I guess VU, huh? The, um, I'm thinking, um, what is the place? The VU, VU, la VU, VU lounge? Lounge? No, the, um, the place we went. The museum, like. No, it's called VU. Oh, it is VU, VU too. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. So, um, the VU rooftop lounge. It's 6.48. Our reservation is for 7. Here, at a lot of the places, it's like two hour seatings so our time is seven to nine so honestly not that hungry y'all saw all of the food that we had at brunch but we're definitely gonna have a few drinks and then probably get some appetizers or something we'll see when we get there but the museum was really really nice it was very big like it's huge we took two two and a half hours we were there yeah we were there about two and a half hours um you could definitely at least two hours for sure but if you're like really a history person you could stay three four five hours really going in detail like reading everything but it was a really nice experience um very i won't say like very crowded but i mean they have you know a nice amount of people there for a sunday and they close i believe at 5 30 so you know good timing and everything so yeah we're on our way to dinner i will see you guys there I am fucking screaming. Tell me why we were getting out of the Uber, coming into the hotel, and I just saw a mouse running across. Are you kidding me right now? I am disgusted. I am disgusted. I ran. I don't know. Where's my mother? <laughs> Disgusting, you guys. The rooftop? Got to the rooftop. Y'all didn't get no footage because they told me I couldn't record. Like, DC is like, it's okay, but mm. did you see it? I'm happy you didn't, because I've been scarred. Oh, it was 
feet? No, it was running from the street across. Was it a muscle no. What? A rat. It was small. It, either way, either way, it's time to go to bed. I'm gonna have a cocktail. <laughs> 9 12. Let's go have a um good night. You guys. They call it acrylic. An acrylic um, glass. I'm not interested. We are here discuss discussing the food now. You guys know that I'm from New Orleans. So if you have never been to New Orleans, then you may at least know that it is all about eating. It's all the best food and best drinks everywhere. As soon as you meet somebody and tell them that you're from New Orleans, they're always like, where do I go to eat? What's, what's the best places to go? So the food so far here has been, it's been good. My mom <laughs> said it has been lackluster. It has been, it has been fine. So far, yes. So far, in 30 hours, I have had two lobster rolls. One dry and one not too much mayonnaise. Yes, my mom, the view rooftop where I told y'all they wouldn't let me record so y'all didn't get any footage. Um, she said the hamburger was horrible. The bun was um, dry. And stale, like, and cold. And it was, um, it was a double patty, so it's giving McDonald's. <laughs> it wasn't good. <sighs> and the special sauce, which I thought was going to be an aioli, turned out to be a smoked barbecue. <laughs> which was gross. Yes. I forgot to tell, y'all may not care about this, but the... Um, glasses at Park 14th are plastic. It's um, acry acrylic. Yes. Uh, um, an acrylic glass and an All acrylic right. carafe. We paid $70 for brunch to drink out of $70? Did I tell you that we prepaid? You have to pay before you go. So, it, and same thing for tonight. So it was a two hour limit for earlier today and tonight. The brunch this morning was how much? It was, $60? Um, $60. It was... Uh, a 20% service charge. Yes, yes, yes. So I didn't tell y'all this. So yes, $60, the 20% service charge. But when we got ready to leave, the girl brought a, um, or the waitress brought a check to the table for $1.25 and said that they have, they open a tab in case you want to leave a tip. Now we've already left a tip because you have charged us 20% gratuity when we booked, when we made the reservation to come. So now you would like us to leave another tip on top of the 20% that we have already given you? And then the drinks tonight, my drink was good. I pretty much drink the same thing all the time. I usually have a whiskey sour um, with Buffalo Trace. Now, tonight my mom decided she was gonna have a Manhattan. She said the Manhattan was horrible. <laughs> It's all about the cherries. The cherries were giving prune. <laughs> the cherries. And it was definitely not the right ratio of bourbon to um, sweet vermouth. So oh. it was very off. Mm -hmm. And um, tastes like they didn't have the right amount of bitters. Yeah. Know, it was just a combination of things. It was horrible. It wasn't giving. Then to top off the evening, we had a rat follow us into the building. Now be very mindful, this hotel is only $300 a night. Yes, this is, I believe I told her, this is the Marriott Marquis. So this is a very nice hotel. This is, um... But it's yes. downtown, so anything goes. Yes, yes, we are, um, we are downtown. So we are going to see what the rest of the days bring, um, especially as far as food is concerned. We are foodies, but we are used to excellent food because we are from New Orleans so we just like you know expect the food to be you know just the best everywhere but it's you know it's been it's been mid it's been you know some things were good I, the fact that I've had two lobster rolls so far is what really gets me but tomorrow we are going to lunch at this place called Succotash now I have just looked at the menu and it's we will see what we end up eating. Hopefully they have this um, prefix. Yes, I believe they do. Um, they menu that I saw nothing about, but. Um, yes. 
we will we will see certainly i will be well we'll keep you updated <laughs> Good morning, y'all. We are in the lobby. I'm still trying to fix myself because I was rushing this morning, but we're about to, we're waiting for our Uber. We're going to the, where are we The Washington Monument. The Washington, so all the names of the things. We're going to the Washington Monument. So we're going inside, yes. right? Yeah, we're getting to go inside. So literally standing in the lobby waiting on our Uber to come. This is our first um, thing for the day. It's almost two o'clock. We were supposed to go to lunch um for like 12 but we both actually ended up being a little sick um after the food from yesterday so we skipped lunch um and we'll probably just eat after this luckily i have some crackers that i packed with me so i'm gonna eat those and i have a water that's um i'm gonna eat that and then i have a water and then we should be getting real food after It's 5.08. We are walking aimlessly, sort of. Um, oh, they have wings today. Yes. What have we done? I'm trying to think what we've done since I last talked to y'all. So we, the Washington Monument, that was really nice. Great um, view, got some nice pictures. So that was good. After that, we went to... We literally got an Uber back to the hotel for like five minutes and then went to, we were going to go to this restaurant. We're trying to look for something to eat because remember I told you guys we didn't have any food this morning. So we ended up walking to this place oh, this called, right the oh, right here. Oh, it's a, um, oh, you did say like a <laughs> bank. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we went, um, had some food, nothing, like we said, not like the food, it's just really not anything exciting. Some, my mom had some tortilla soup, I had a grilled cheese, and then we walked around a little bit of city center, which is really just um, like designer stores, they had like a Dior, a Chanel, Burberry, all of that. We just kind of window shopped a little bit, didn't even go in the stores, not buying anything. And now we're going to this place called Riggs for, um, they have a happy hour where they do, what is it, martini night? Or Monday martini. Monday martinis so we're gonna go in here it's actually used to be an old bank let me show y'all in the morning girl it is 8 44 i'm sitting at the same little station i'm always sitting at about to do my makeup for the day we have an early start this morning it was actually supposed to be even earlier we were gonna go to um breakfast before this to this place called ted's bulletin they have um they have regular breakfast but they're known for like these pop tarts but we decided we were just going to skip breakfast and maybe like later on today we can just run in there and get a pop tart to try so we'll probably just grab some starbucks hopefully we have time um in our hotel right downstairs before we go we're going to the supreme court um first and then we're supposed to go to the botanical gardens and then we're gonna i think library of congress after that everything my mom made a whole itinerary girl so everything is on the itinerary i keep having to pick it up to see exactly um where we're supposed to be going but it is supposed to rain today um i thought it was gonna come around 12 but we just checked the weather and looks like it's not gonna come till um maybe around like three so that's really good so we're gonna just do you know as much as we can and then 
probably you know come back to the hotel and then we have dinner reservations for seven so i'm gonna go to a nice little um french restaurant so i'm excited about that but yeah everything has been good i'm trying to think of the last thing um that i show i feel like the last thing i showed y'all was um was dinner but i was talking to y'all when we were headed into that um that bar that i was telling y'all used to be um, a bank and I was like oh let me show y'all so uh, yeah literally as soon as I got in here comes somebody running up to me talking about I can't film like this must be like a thing in DC because like what I've only been told one time well actually I've never been told I can't film at home only one time somebody um like questioned me at a restaurant and if you watch that vlog you already know what I'm talking about but that was already sketching itself and was a you know it was giving racist vibes okay um but they didn't even at that point they didn't say i couldn't film they were just asking me what i was doing um so yeah i've never been told at home that i can't film here i have been told twice and what i don't like it because it doesn't it doesn't make sense to me like i can film video and take pictures on my phone but i can't film video and take pictures on my camera like make it make sense either we can take pictures and videos or we cannot like what does the device have to do with anything and it's foolish it's foolish to me i don't like it um just i'm not really into dc y'all i'm gonna be honest if you watch me and you're from dc sis mm, i could do without like i have no plans to come back zero i feel like as soon as i got here i was just kind of like mm, Okay, yeah, so <clears throat> then after that, we went to this restaurant called Yardbird, which is literally like around the corner from our hotel. It gives you kind of like, um, to me, it gives you kind of like Cheesecake Factory vibes, honestly. Or um, I think Houston's might only be in New Orleans, but if you know what Houston's is, kind of like that as well. Um, that's like what it what it gives, more like regular food. We literally had... Um, just like they're so yard bird known for their chicken so we had roasted chicken and their mashed potatoes and oh they did have very good biscuits so that was good and um brussels sprouts so yeah regular little meal which was good because like i told you guys the night before the food had made us sick so we um so it was good that little dinner real plain real simple and then that was it for the night came came home so like we're getting ready to go out again today but like i was saying dc is cool or whatever like i'm happy that you know i've I've been because had I not been I wouldn't have known that I'd never want to come back <laughs> it's not my vibe it's just it's really not like I really didn't know what to expect I've been to New York so I was like okay you know up north northern vibes but it's um the people the people are no go and they say that like northern people and when you come to the north and you're from the south you can really really see the difference and everybody says how when they come to the south like southern hospitality is a real thing like it's not an illusion <laughs> it's very real we've been in i've so actually before being here um i have only been in one uber <laughs> and i was in one uber when i went out um on a new year's eve with like a group of people so i wasn't in it by myself it was me and like a few other people and that was the only time that i've ever been in an uber um we have taken ooh, we've taken at least about six i would say at least about six um ubers taxis um since we've been here and nobody says anything like when you open the door we're like you know who are you picking up um i'll like literally i'll knock on the door i'll be like hi who are you picking up they'll be like um india and i'll be like you know okay and then get in the car and nobody says anything nobody speaks nobody says hello um nothing nothing like just nobody talks and i was like okay this is this is interesting but I, this is just how it is in the north i i really believe like people they're just not friendly here nobody talks like um me and my mom when we were leaving that rooftop bar a man ne nearly ran over us trying to get out the door now if we had been at home i have never had a man run over me while i'm trying to get out the door like no he's gonna back up and hold the door for you and let you go through and then you go like that's a real that's a real thing we were walking in the um when we were leaving the um what's the or the tall the washington monument that we went to yesterday the really tall stone building that i just showed y'all the view for when we were walking out of there it's like a big it's like very it's almost like like a park that surrounds it and we're walking and we're walking in the park there's a man on a bicycle he comes nearly knocks us over and then yells at us and it's like you're on the wrong side idiot 
I, I am not making this up. I wish I would have been recording. So y'all could have seen this. Is, this is why <laughs> always keep the camera rolling. <laughs> but seriously, like, what? Like never in my life have I ever experienced that, especially for somebody who's on a bike. Like if you're on a bike, just swerve around me. He literally yelled, you're on the wrong side, idiot. Can you believe? The people in the North are just like you. Yesterday, on our way to, um, on our way to that little bar that was inside of the bank, we passed a, um, like a gift shop. We walked in, there are three people working. Nobody said anything. No one said any, not even just like welcome. Nothing. It's just like, mm, I see why when people come to the South, they're like, oh my God, everybody is so nice, so friendly. They're always talking and asking about, you know, where you're from, how's your day, what are you doing, where have you been, you know, giving you recommendations of places to go and things. So if you are, yeah, it's so, it's so crazy. Like just the difference in people. But yeah, we'll see how the day goes. So I'm just about to finish up my makeup and then hopefully we have time to go to Starbucks and then I'll talk to y'all probably after that. Okay, I haven't showed y'all any outfits <laughs> since I've been here because we're always rushing. But today I'm doing leather leggings. I'll probably just insert um, a reel. Oh, this one. I'll probably just insert the reel because I made a little outfit reel for every day so that y'all can see. But today we're doing a little black and pink. I decided to throw on this little pink, um, this is not really a beret, this little pink hat. And I'm wearing a pink bubble, um, a pink puffer jacket. So we're rushing. I will talk to y'all later. We're at the Supreme Court. Now, I have been racing around this morning, running around in a I rush. I told her that I, I'm sorry that she misunderstood the itinerary for I thought we were gonna have a tour. You cannot go inside of here. A lot of the places you can't go inside. It's just, you can stand out and take pictures and that's it. I don't, only the Washington Monument. That's the only place we've been inside. Yes, and we'll be inside the Library of Congress. Yes, and the Library of Congress, okay, and the Capitol, so. It's really just like a photo op. So exactly. <laughs> you guys, so remember when they stormed the Capitol? Here we are. So, but I would like to know, I would like to know exactly how they got inside because there's literally people patrolling, officers walking with their dogs, they're on bikes. Look at this, right there. Just riding, monitoring. So, to me, someone is lying. <laughs> Someone left them in. Some type of inside job. Hey, feeling young, but they treat me like the OG. And they want the tea on me, I swear these bitches nosy. Said he put some money on my head, I guess we gon' see. I won't put no money on his head, my niggas owe me. I gotta be single for a while, you can't control me. Uno of those traits in a race, they can't hold me. And I show my face in a case, so you know it's me. Imitation is a flattery, it's just annoying me. And I'm too about it. And the dirt that they do on my name turn to soil, and I grew about it. Time for y'all to figure out what y'all gon' do about it. Big wheels keep rolling, rolling. I'm outside, 29. We're in the Capitol. We just left the Library of Congress, so we're gonna do this. Um, I think this one is a, this one is an actual tour. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. So the Library of Congress was a self-guided tour, but here now in the Capitol, we have an actual tour. And after this, we'll probably try to get something to eat because we're hungry. All we have is Starbucks this morning. We made it to lunch. So we're at Ted's Bulletin. This is the place I was telling y'all about with the Pop-Tarts. So I think we'll get maybe one to try, but then get some actual food. I got a mocktail. This is 
called a peachy keen. It's supposed to be like mock tequila and then some kind of peach syrup or something. It's good. It's cute. It's cute. Mm. Fried cauliflower. Fried cauliflower with some kind of sauce and then just some chicken tenders, buffalo sauce, and honey mustard. The chili looks so good. Hello. So it's um it's evening at this point. The last thing y'all saw I think was the Pop Tart. The Pop Tart, it wasn't really giving what we thought it was i think we were both expecting like um i i don't know but not like a strudel just like a warm it was homemade but y'all saw when it came to the table it had like um sprinkles on it and it was cold we were both expecting something that was warmer that was i don't know i thought it was gonna be like fresh baked warm pop chart but that's not really what it was i mean it was fine they're like known for them it's one of their things so it's good you know we got it to try or whatever but all the other food that we had the chicken strips or chicken tenders the um the cauliflower and the chili and so everything else was really good so now we're getting ready to we came back to our hotel it's been raining so luckily the rain pretty much held up our whole trip we really got to do everything except for one thing which this afternoon we were supposed to go to barrack what exactly is on barracks row it's shops restaurants shops it's, um, restaurants one of the oldest military um neighborhoods that they have here Okay, did y'all hear? One of the oldest military neighborhoods. So that was going to be like our last um, kind of like wrap up activity for this afternoon. But it was raining. So it really, you know, it's like an outdoor thing. Walk around to the different shops and stuff. So we were going to actually supposed to do a happy hour there. But we canceled that. And um, we canceled that yesterday. Because if you didn't cancel, you're going to have to pay um, if you don't cancel 24 hours in advance. So we canceled that. And we ended up coming back to our hotel for maybe like... Um, it's been like two hours ish and now we're getting ready to go to dinner we're going to this um french restaurant called the diplomat it's popular it's a popular french restaurant so that's where we're going for dinner it's raining still um it's not supposed to freeze or snow or anything like that just um rain and they're going to be getting like really cold weather here for like the rest of their week or whatever so we're heading out tomorrow tonight is our last night here so we're gonna go have our last little dinner honestly really not hungry but we'll go and have a little drink and they're supposed to um it's a french restaurant so they're supposed to have really good um like little baguette bread and stuff and other things on their menu so we'll see how much we end up actually eating when we get there but we're at least gonna go for our last little hurrah in the city y'all can see i <laughs> took my wig off and everything and just have been laying down for a little bit and freshening up my makeup, put my clothes back on, and we're gonna be out the door. This is one of my new favorite lip combos. This is Abu Dhabi. If y'all don't have this by NYX, I picked this up at Ulta last time I was there. NYX Nutmeg, y'all know my fave, and Fenty Sweet Mouth. I need a new one of these, definitely ran through it. But I wanna get, um, Chelsea was talking about the hot chocolate, I think. I don't know if it's like, I think it's the lip plumping one. So I'll probably pick that up. That's supposed to be a really good universal. Once I'll probably get that and then definitely get another sweet mouth because I think sweet mouth is universal, honestly. It's just a very pretty pink, but like nudie pink. So, okay, I feel like I need maybe a few. I'm not gonna say it's super big because it is big enough. Is it like? Ooh, not enough. I will not say that. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, 
I'm going to try the last mix now. So I'm very Good morning and happy Wednesday. Yes, today is Wednesday. I feel like whenever you go on vacation, you never know the days of the week. So today is Wednesday. We're on our last little walk in the city. We're going to breakfast at um, this place called the Unconventional Diner. And then we basically already checked out. We'll just go back and grab our bags and then head to the airport. So hopefully this little breakfast place is good. Dinner last night, the best dinner that we've had. Highly recommend it. Um, very good it was a french restaurant i think i told y'all that i had scallops which were delicious and what did you oh my mom had the um lobster risotto so that was um good as well and the dessert was good too it was like an apple um tart with oh we're here with this um ice cream and caramel sauce so we just got to the um restaurant i'll show y'all inside 